What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Skyrim. It's actually been over a month since I've been able to turn on the camera and record something because I've been moving house. But what's awesome is that we have Lydia back with us and today, in today's episode, we're going to be exploring one of the biggest DLC size mods that you can get for free in both Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition and it's called Moon Path to Elsewhere and you can probably already tell what that's going to involve. A lot of Khajiit like myself. So I hope you furries are going to enjoy this episode. <laughs> I have heard rumours of a caravan in Falkreath leaving for elsewhere. If I can find these Khajiit, I might be able to travel with them. Find the caravan travelling the moon path to elsewhere. This is actually quite exciting because we already went to elsewhere in the Elder Scrolls Online, but now we're going to do it in Skyrim in this awesome fan-made mod. So we're already in Falkreath, and if you guys for some reason don't know, after eight years of playing this game, Falkreath is located in the bottom south west corner of the map just here Falkreath so at the entrance of Falkreath we should find this Khajiit caravan hopefully we can catch it before it leaves aha here we are the caravan seems to have been interrupted by one of the many mods I have installed inside this tree in fact hello there it looks like you're preparing to travel it is so stranger Khajiit will step on the warm sands of our homeland soon. I am Karina. What should I call you? Call me Dovakin. Oh, son of Akatosh. Yes, Khajiit has heard the thunder of your voice. It is an honor to meet you, Dragonborn. What are these moon paths? Hmm, Samran Erge kept a journal about our travels. Should you find it? You will know. You can read, yes? Well, we'll find out soon. Can I join your caravan? that Traveler, you wish to travel, then travel. No ask, but do. But ask my mate first. <laughs> Don't ask, but do. But you better ask my friend first. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a chat with uh, this Khajiit over here. You seem to have parked your caravan in a very large tree here. <laughs> Are you Karana's mate? Perhaps I am. Well, mostly. All cats stray from time to time. Maybe she's seeing other kitty cats. I'm interested in travelling to elsewhere. Mais, you should be. It is the most beautiful place in all Tamriel. I land is so vibrant and warm. The same cannot be said about this cold and unforgiving wasteland. Just call Skyrim a wasteland? Oh boy. May I join you? Let very nothing. Do. Dar. Jo. No matter. You look strong. We can use an extra claw. Many Khajiit are gone. You can store your gear on the carriage. And how do you travel exactly? By caravan? We travel with the Jakajai. Moonstrings. First you see This is easy. But past Riverhold, the cage begins, and we will need Jack Hajairat. Open caravan to elsewhere. Here we go. Let's the journey begin into unexplored lands. Complete it. Pack your gear into the carriage and leave Skyrim. We're already in the desert by the looks of it. What's going on? Why have we stopped? Our path is blocked. Perhaps someone should take a look. <laughs> Perhaps somebody should go and sort that out, eh? Dread softly, friend. These roads are filled with brigands. Our Thalmal overlords are more interested in heretics than bandits. What the hell is this? Hello there! You're like a cross between a dragon... A rhino that sounds like a deer. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a wolf! A hyena! It's not a wolf. That's definitely not a wolf. Kill it. Kill those hyenas. Jesus Christ. Oh, you paralyzed it. You've got an enchanted sword. <laughs> I like how she's just stuck behind the fireplace. Where are you off to, rhino dragon thing? 
Are they all dead? All right, let's loot these hyenas. Hyena meat restores two points of health. As useless as all the other meat in Skyrim, I see. So there's a village up ahead, an outpost of some kind by the looks of it. Now, rather annoyingly, um, Lydia is not currently with us. I don't know why. I don't know if I can actually take followers on this journey with us, though, which is a bit upsetting, to say the least. Oh, these are bandits. What was that? It was my arrow into your ear, my friend. Oh, where did it go? You better go and check that arrow out. Not the direction it was coming from. Let's deal with these archers first. Quick arrow to the... Oh my goodness, I've fallen down a crevice. I know I hurt something. I know I hurt. I've been spotted. Hello there, gang leader. Hey, you better tap your axe on your fist. <laughs> you got paralyzed. Get Rex up. Now, unfortunately, a lot of my awesome texture points do not cover... Um, the elsewhere mod, obviously. Why are they all running into the wall? Get Rex up. Look at all these dead Khajiit, my goodness. That's a lot of Khajiit. So unfortunately, all my texture mods don't actually cover the elsewhere mod. So that means we're going to see a mix of 4K textures and blurry pixels. The Spell Tome, Wall of Frost, and the Importance of Wear, another book. We better take that health potion, though. So there's a nice little bed area here. I'm looking for a bandit's chest so I can steal some of their loot. But aside from this little area here and this bandit fortress, I don't think there's much else to find. So let's head back to the camp and go along in our travels. Bandits are no more. When Khajiit turns to Renierge, he has no reason to be. The sand will bury their shame, and we shall move along. What legend. Get in the back of the carriage and continue the journey. I shall indeed. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this place. My goodness. Where are we now? It seems this bridge has collapsed. I'll scout ahead for a wading point. You are very useful, my friend. We will wait here and offer to little Thar. We will speak with the moons and the forests in Thar's sweet dreams. Sure, 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 sure. I'm sure you will. You in, you you speak to the, the moons and the forest and, you know, do moon sugar and skooma and stuff. And meanwhile, I'll do all the work. I mean, it kind of looks like we can just wade through here, right? Oh my god, there is a spooky spider. Mate, get ready. Jungle queen hatchling? What does the queen look like then? God forbid. These creepy crawly creatures. I'm going to keep my distance, thanks very much. Huh. I can't even get up here. Jesus. Look at the size of this jungle queen hatchling. Good grief. I actually kind of... Oh, yeah. Give me that kill cam, Skyrim. Where's the jungle queen? Is she up there? I can't see her. Usually she's hiding in the treetops. Poison. Poison bite venom. Oh, target paralyzed paralyze for three seconds. That's really good, actually actually useful venom where's the jungle queen can't see her anywhere can you go inside here no it's just an empty cave all right let's go and scout ahead oh god oh wait is that dead oh jesus no 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 you didn't see anything ah get away from me no, get away! Back, you cruel creature. Okay, we're good. Okay, apparently I've scouted ahead, but I kind of want to find this jungle queen spider. Whatever it looks like. Let's just swim back. What is that there? 
Is that a dinosaur? What the hell is that? It's a... It's bloody Jurassic Park, mate! The hell? A Zahalisk nesting. Mate, we, we need to get out of here. There's fucking dinosaurs! Look at it! That's derpy! Oh, get wrecked, mate. It's a dinosaur unicorn. How exciting! Alright, let's go and head back to the others. Tell them we need to get out of here, mate. Have you seen Jurassic Park? I found a ford in the river. It has strong currents, but it should be fine. Oh, yes. No worries. Our moon cow is heavy. We feed them with downward droppings. <laughs> nice. Where do we go next? The Palmar have invited you to their jungle. This is rare, but it seems they have been expecting you. We will bring you there to meet them before the day breaks. Go back to the carriage and be dropped off, okay? We never really had a reason to visit elsewhere. We've just been taken there and now someone wants to meet us. Obviously, I am the Dovakin. Who wouldn't want to meet me? Oh my god, it's a tiger! Look out! Jesus Christ. I'm being held hostage by a tiger. The waters of oblivion. A damn. Are you Pama? Yes, we are. We are Khajiit. But our tribe never left our home. We've come to guard you, as we were ordered by our pride leader, Deep Claw. Of course, his name's Deep Claw. An empty chest. Okay, nice. Let's go and head downstairs then. Who are you? What is this place? Where am I? These are the waterways of Southern Elsewhere, silly. I'm Yura. I live here. We were expecting you, so Mia told me to come and welcome you. Where will I find her? <laughs> Goodbye, I'm leaving. <laughs> I want to go back to Skyrim. The Palmer has given you this. The pride rack has your home in elsewhere. Deeper down you'll find a door to the waterways. Travel there to find a mirror. Goodbye. Oh, you are so brave. If I could only come with you. I'd make a great dragon slayer. No, you wouldn't. Be quiet. My god, look at this place. It's so cool. They've, like, created a whole jungle in the world of Skyrim. It looks insanely good. There's just a wet cat down there. <laughs> the distance. Lovely. All right. Well, we've got to head upstairs, I believe. A song of the Empire. They've got a library outside. Nice. Some wet books. Is this my bed? I've got an alchemy enchanter. A grand... Oh, a, a, oh my god. Daedra hearts. They're very rare ingredients. I'll, I'll be taking those. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. Nice. Alright, let's uh, walk around this encampment. It's a charming place. This is quite cool, actually. Wait, is that a tripwire? No, it's just the map floating. A few chests that are empty. Is this meant to be like my house or something? Right, let's drop down to the boat then. Hello there. Kawi the Wanderer. This one needs something? What do you got for sale? Take a look. Take a look. I've got loads of moon trip. Oh, adventure backpack. Do you know what? We're on an adventure. Let's buy that. Um, which one do I want? With bedroll, yes. Of course. Uh, what else can I buy from you? Cork bulb arrows. Never heard of those. I'm going to buy 50. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Until next time. Indeed, indeed. Okay, let's swim over to this door. Hello there, moon cow. So trippy. Is this crab also my friend as well? The waterways of elsewhere. I don't know if I was meant to take a boat here, but... Jesus Christ, the giant bloody spider on the other side of the door. No one told me that. God damn it. Jungle queen. We're like, oh God, that, that hurts quite a bit. Um, what can I use here? That will save me from the poison. 
soon as I need to use it. Bang! You can't hit me, haha! Right, as soon as we stop becoming ethereal, I'm gonna let this loose. There we go, nice. Did I even hit it? Oh my god, it's gonna kill me. Give me a potion. Give me a potion. I need a potion of... Of anything. Elixir of health. Ultimate healing. We have one. Thank goodness. Jungle Queen. GTFO. Oh, we paralyzed it. Easy. Wait, the hatchling is as strong as the bloody queen. What's going on here? It's even tankier. Kill it. Okay, the jungle queen is dead. You killed your mum. How do you feel about that, huh? Stupid hatchling. Okay, it's dead. Look how green it is. Nice one. Look at the size of this gal. God damn. That's a spooky boy. Right, I guess we follow the waterways. It would have been nice if that Khajiit dude on the boat gave me a... Oh boy! How many things are there here? This place is infested with bloody spiders. Oh yeah, get Rex up. No, don't shoot me with that. Filth. I think he knows where I am. I think he has found me. <laughs> Please leave me. Get out of here. I don't think the queen's seen me yet. I could be wrong. Their poison is super useful either way, so I'm going to take that. Let's get a bow, arrow, drawn and ready. I saw this big gal on the other side of this rock here. And I'm ready. There she is, look. Get out of here, mate. Give me that sneak attack. Insane damage. Booty shot. Oh my god, yes. That was beautiful. There's some more... Oh, what's that? What is... Oh, it's one of those weird dinosaur things again. Look at it. It looks so derpy. It's like, kill me, please, ESO. Get me out of my misery. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Leave me alone. You silly creature. What do they drop, anyway? Zachelsk Tooth. Zachelisk? I don't know. Where are you, you stupid dinosaur? There it is. Look. It's a nice one. Get ready. Right in your face. What's this? It's a skeleton. Ancient Nordic arrows. Really? Why are they here? A adept lock, my friend. I am the best lock picker in Skyrim. Ha! Ha! Lucky they sent me to elsewhere. Oh my god. Ebony shield of dwindling magic. Sell it, I guess. Restoration, yeah, I don't need that. That's useless to me. Useless! So many butterflies. So pretty. But damn. Oh, what's that? Oh my goodness, it's, it's a crab. This place is actually amazing. I'm really impressed with this mod so far. The voice acting's decent, though you can kind of tell that, um... Where are you? Oh, wow, you're hidden, are you? Ah. Oh. Nothing to see here, Mr. Mudcrab. <laughs> I'm not really there. I'm hiding. Yeah, the mod is great. I find with the voice acting, though, just the quality of their equipment isn't obviously that good. So sometimes the voice acting, while high quality, doesn't sound as good because the uh, the microphones aren't good. Jesus Christ! Where's Lydia when you need her? Oh my goodness, the mud crabs. Oh, the mud crabs are defending me! Go, mud crabs! The game's frozen! Oh, the kill cam, though. It was like it, it wanted us to wait for that epic. Look at him. He's fucking eating that spider juice. God damn. We'll call him Jimmy. Jimmy the crab. Well done, Jimmy. Give me your frostbite. It's not frostbite venom. It's, it's poison bite venom. So original. Love it. 
Wait, I can hear a fucking spider. Oh, God! Oh, God, no. Look at it. It's just taunting me with its spindly arms. It doesn't even want to fight me. It just wants to intimidate me with its... Haha! Haha! What are you going to do now, poisoned arachnid? I'm going to kiss your nips. Yummy! Direct. That's what you get, mate. Elder Jungle Queen. Guys, I've missed playing Skyrim. I've missed making content for you guys. I have truly missed it. It's been a month of furniture building, which has been very stressful, but also fun at the same time, because we finally moved into a house. You guys can never... I move, like, once a year, and you guys can never tell, because I've got a green... Damn it! The lock picked! You, you can never tell, because I've got a green screen, so... To you guys, everything always looks the same, and you don't notice the amount of stress there is on moving house once a year, or even twice a year last year. Um, and now we're finally in somewhere, and we have a mortgage, and it's all thanks to you guys that we can be here doing this. And your support on Patreon actually allowing me to get a mortgage, because it's a form of consistent income. So I just want to say thanks to all of you who do support me there. I'm going to give that Staff of Lightning Bolts to Lydia as a birthday present. Wow, we've recent, recent, reached the next camp, I think. In this jungle area. Very magical. Another boat. Okay. I think we're going to find our friend here who we're meant to be looking for. Here he is. Hello there. No comment. This place is amazing. You get used to it. But nothing compared to the journey from Skyrim. Yes, you have heard tales of you, my friend. I'm surprised surprised to find anybody here to hear of any tale. What do you even do here anyway? You must have noticed the Palmer guarding us. We are essential to the Moon Sugar, my friend. And in a manner, we are the main emissaries for them. What are the moon paths? Well, you tell me. We've travelled on one. In short, they are the secret paths of the Khajiit caravans to use to move between the provinces. Hey bro, are they magical? Magical? Ha! <laughs> of course, following the moons to one's destination is always deeply magical experience for a Khajiit. But sparkly magic? No. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you! But I have urgent business elsewhere. <laughs> are you the leader here? The leader? Every Khajiit in their own pillar. We follow only the moon and the main, but in a sense I command respect amongst the folk here. I love how they're always like, uh, yeah, I'm not the leader, but I command respect, so technically I am the leader, but they never say they are. Yes. What are those you giant tails, cats? They do? Such an honor. They must have felt great things in you. They speak to you in your own tongue, I guess. Honored indeed. I'd like to learn more of the Pama. I'm sure you would. But it's not allowed. Ailit can tell you later. Go speak to her. Uh, okay. I'm like, I want to learn something else. And she's like, it's not allowed. But go and talk to her. She'll tell you more. <laughs> Hello there. Not very talkative, eh? <laughs> Guess we'll go and speak to this person over here. On this boat. Amos says it's an honour to be spoken to by the Palmer. It is indeed. It means they have accepted you amongst them. No one besides us has been allowed to wander these waterways in this age. How strange. I don't feel like walking on all fours. By far, are all travellers from Skyrim dense like the jungle? It means you are allowed to live here and rest in safety. The Pomer will guard you. Okay, see you soon. Remember to always follow the moon. It always leads to your destination. Oh, Jesus. Spooky, very spooky. Why do they have Dwemer chairs? Interesting. They also have tents on their boats, which I really like. Hello there. 
What are you guarding there? And what is it to you, little one? Speak to Kamel. He is in his barge down the stairs. If he vouches for you, Merver may turn his ears to you. Very well. Ah, incursion. A chest with a key. Another locked door. Very interesting. What are you guarding, Khajiit? Let's talk to this bro down here and see what he says. <laughs> Look at his face. Mervar guards us, but he can be stubborn. Just tell him to stop being an oaf, or I will twist his ears. Okay. What's going on here anyway? Why is Mevir so paranoid? Well, you know, the kingdoms of elsewhere are now a Thalmor protectorate. But this does not mean everyone is a compliant vassal to their delusions. Let me guess, you people are rebels as well? Indeed, and all this moon sugar is going straight into our new main's coffers. Hence Mervar's caution. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Khajiit selling moon sugar. Hmm. Moon path to elsewhere indeed. No wonder they call them moon paths as well, to smuggle their wares all around. Okay, let's go and tell the big boy up here to stop being an oaf. Quamel says he'll twist your ears. <laughs> that sounds like him. And he is not beyond actually doing it. Well, now that Mervor knows you are in the loop, why don't you help us out? Why not? Great. Pamar told me that Talmor Patrol is in the area. My twin Dervar is scouting near the Denmar Den. Go and see if he's alright, yes? I hope he's not dead. How do I find your brother? He will stand out. He is Toshairat, like me. Just follow the path behind this door. Lead straight to the Denmark Den. Here, take this key. I was wondering why he was so tall, but he's actually Toshairat, which is um, like this absolutely butch Khajiit. Like, as you can see, I'm like a... I'm a tall Khajiit, but he's like so much thicker than me. God damn, look at this guy. He's fucking huge, mate. He's huge. Jesus. Right, we can go through this door now to the Tanmar Den. Since playing uh, the Elder Scrolls Online and they've released the new DLC elsewhere, um, I've been really enjoying learning more about the Khajiit lore because it's such an interesting sort of culture. Where are we meant to go? Oh, look, there's a little cave here. That's Oh Jesus, there's a frost atronach? Oh my god, the founder and killing the, the senche. Kill it! Oh, get wrecked, son. Look at that. Oh, get wrecked! Thalma scum. What is that? Who's attacking who? That's a gorilla? There's a... Okay, are you attacking a gorilla? That's a gorilla. An Igmagag brute. I've never heard of that. Kill the Thalma! Wait, was that the Khajiit? Oh no, I think that was the Thalma. Right, let's go and join in, guys. Look at me, I'm in Robin Hood. You are but a dog, and I am your master. They're terrible people. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, sir. Boom. Thalma wizards. All die. Is that a thermal wizard? I can't even tell. I don't I don't know what some of these larger creatures are to be honest. I'm also sure if they're on our side. Oh mate, two-handed hands in the face. So thermal robes. And then another thermal wizard. I do love the thermal outfit though, it looks pretty sick. Hello there! Are you all right? Never felt better. That was a good fight. A good day to spill some Thalmor blood. <laughs> Wait, who are you again? We've not actually met. Your brother sent me to see if you were okay, though. Ah, only one breath older, and yet he feels like an old man already. Tell him he needs to stop napping near the fire and come help us out. Wow. Well. Thanks for- Oh my god, the Palmer guard is dead. I'll take that Sabercat Belf. 
You'll make a fine rug, cat. Aha! Another saber cat pearl. Nice. I need that health potion right there. The mud crab's just guarding the entrance there. The real MVP. What is this? It's like a, a pot of brewing moon sugar, isn't it? It's raining a little bit now. Oh, I can't jump over here. There we go. Ah, moon sugar. Wasn't me. Oh, I can steal this as well. Nice. I am a Khajiit, guys. Come on. This is what Khajiits do. It's within our, our nature. Oh, yes. Easy. Didn't even break it. Nine gold. God damn it. It's like they wanted to spite me. I like how they don't lock up the... <laughs> He's just watching me. Hi there. How are you? We are still investigating those Talmor. Be careful. And tell me if you spot any more, yes? Indeed I shall. Indeed I shall. Okay, let's head back to our boy. Pretty sure I can make this drop. Yay. <laughs> and then we can um, go and save him. And hopefully he'll give us a reward of more moon sugar. Because that's the real reason I'm here and elsewhere. To get moon sugar from the dealer. And cut out the middleman. Isn't that right? You torture rat, really, dude. You toy J rat. You rot. You toy J rat really don't take kindly to the Thalmor, do you? Ah, so the Thalmor found Dervar, yes. Dervar, take it, they are no more. Good work. Keep the key. Perhaps Dervar will have need of you in the future. So, what's next? Cats will show the claws. That is next. We found where this Talmor patrol came from. They landed their airship at Pillar Falls. Airship? Yes. Must be something new they develop. We need to learn more. Take the passage near the fireplace here. Use this key. Find the captain's orders. You've got a key for everything. Right, so now we've got to head this way. And through this door take us to Pillar Fall. Seems pretty safe so far, guys. Nothing to see here. Aha! This is the abandoned airship. Well, watch this, guys. We're going to assassinate them all like a boss. Here we go. Get rid of the big boy first. Look at him, he's having a party. These guys really didn't stand a chance, did they? Oh, get paralyzed. Jesus Christ! Get away from me. Nope! Get back, you beast! Jesus Christ! Haha! Come on, fight me. Oh, he's tired. I want you. Ah! Stupid wizard firing your frost astronaut at me, how dare you? Oh boy, he's right behind me. Stop laughing at me, you fool. Stupid thermal wizard. The only thing I've got to worry about is this frost astronaut killing me. There we go. The Thalma wizard! An elven dagger, useless. What are these things? I've never even read about these things. Play the elder. Oh, he's a fucking monkey. What the hell, man? Haha, <laughs> look at it! Oh, God. A mini loincloth. Just chilling out, man. Bloody silverback gorilla. Crazy. Alright, let's uh, check out this airship. It's an alchemy station. Ah, interesting. Oh. Oh god, there's quite a few guys here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh god! Paralyzed! Yeet! Yeet! I think they know. 
How many bloody Dalma soldiers are here, man? Jesus Christ. Please, back off. You'll make a fine drug, cat. I don't think so, mate. And get out of here. It's these wizards that are super annoying. Stupid Thalma. Oh my goodness me. Oh god, I missed that. Where even is he? Over there. Oh, there's a chest here as well. Hidden away. Very nice. No, not the bloody frost astronaut right in front of you. Aha! Now you're dead. Get wrecked. Another locked... Ch ah, damn it! Here we go, here we go. Just here. Easy. Come on, this is easy. Oh, my day! Yes, easy. Like I said. What do you have? Iron arrows that I fired into your back. The only thing of any value to me. You have some arrows too. Some steel arrows. Indeed. Very nice. Okay. I think I've killed everyone now. Look at this place. It's pretty amazing though. It's a whole airship here. The Dwemer created such inventions. Captain's lockbox. Of course it's an apprentice lock. There we go. Hide shield of resist fire. Captain's orders and the iron greatsword of wariness. Only the orders are going to be useful. Captain, you are now in command of the airship, the Howling Banshee. And you are responsible for every soul aboard. Your direct orders are to take the White Strake to Tenmar Forest, set up a base operations and locate the source of the moon sugar flowing out of the area. You have a full jurisdiction to take any action you deem necessary. It is time these rebels learn that their heresy shall not be tolerated. Justica Lionel, or Lenial, I don't know what his name is. Okay, so now we've taken care of the Thalma base. We need to go and find and report back on what the captain's been saying. Where's the exit? Here it is. Alright, so let's head back to our friend in the woodlands. The woodland realm! Alright, here we are. Have a chat to our good old friend. I've taken care of the farmer. Great. Show me those papers. Interesting. It seems like this mission was more dangerous than we thought. Hmm? How so? If the Dalmor have figured out the moon sugar is coming from Tenmar Forest, then the whole new elsewhere movement is in danger. What can we do? We will send spies to the Doom, and they will find this just this year. But it will take time, so let's talk later. Any word on the counter espionage? Kulan is looking into it. Mervar asked him to report to you at your Pride Rock hideout. Perhaps he is already waiting. Alright, let's go back to the hideout and talk to him then. Whoa, that spider just waved at me. Did you guys see that? It's crazy. Crazy spider. It's not even dead, it's just pretending. Guys, I'm actually going to be doing a, uh, a setup video for you guys. Just to show you like the setup so far, because I'm really happy with it. Because for the first time ever, I could actually screw holes into the wall mount my speakers and my lights and it's actually quite like a cheap affordable setup so if like any of you are interested in that go and check out that video you can see my new office space what i use and you know everything like that so uh, i'll link that down below in the description as soon as it's out for you guys to see whoa a mud crack here we are look at those mannequins oh, oh wait they parked the airship here are we using this airship now this is awesome hello there oh he's a pirate yeah. <laughs> Skullcat. Who are you? Ahoy! <laughs> this can just be a simple sailor, my noble sir. You may call him Captain. Captain Skullcat at your service. You're kidding me. You're not a captain. 
shiver my timbers am I not? Yeah, now ain't it a shame? And who may he be? I'm a dragonborn. Dragonborn, I? Well, that's quite a name. Long time ago, I had a shipmate by the name, Ah, uh, Dogborn, I. Ugly as Daedra, I'm telling you. <laughs> Is this story going anywhere? Aye, you be dead, messy way. Skullcat's very own bloody claws tore him apart. Why? Because he was so ugly. <laughs> he asked too much questions. <laughs> <laughs> that animation, though. Mervar told me to look out for Kulan. Do you know him? Chango witch cats. <laughs> Marins burn them all. And his cripple squid schemer is hiding under a hatch. Alright. Let's go under the hatch. Yeah. Jesus Christ, did you follow me down there? You giant big oaf. Look at the size of him. Look at this giant ass scimitar. My god. What else have they got down here? Ah, a strong box. The flawless ruby. Potent poisons. And a daedric dagger. I mean, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, Skullcat. Sounds like he's a cartoon. Kulan, it's you. Are you Kulan? Ah, yes. Kulan welcomes you to the deck of the waning moon, your personal airship. My personal airship? Really? You're giving it to me? Kulan cannot give to you what is not his. You shouted it down from the sky above. It is yours by right of the hunt. Right of the hunt? You shouted it down from the sky above. You're exaggerating, man. What about that Justica? Where is he? New Elsewire spies trapped him north of here, close to the city of Doom. That damn elf is raiding our caravan supply posts. He must pay for his crimes. Indeed he must. I'm ready whenever you are. Flying Khajiit? <laughs> what can stop us now? Exactly. Flying Khajiit, let's go, bro. Kulan navigates the ship through the skies above elsewhere. It is a smooth, uneventful journey. Kulan, you're a fucking boss, mate. Well done. Here we are, then. We, I guess we're here now. Kulan, mate, I need I need to ask your advice. What, what do we do now? What's going on? Unleash the war cats. The Thalmor are attacking the supply post. What? The war cats? What war cats? Uh, just hurry and intercept them. Okay. Uh, I'll do that, mate. And you're, you're just going to sit here while I do all the work, I guess. Yeah, of course. All you, Khajiit, are the same. Here we are, on the deck of the ship. Hey, Skullcat. What's your report? Ha <laughs> ha! Finally, you scouted your hideout, my noble sir. Time to cut and rip. Time to rip and tear. <laughs> what are the Thalmer? Have you seen them? Aye, straight the cars down there. You gonna fight or not? Of course I am, mate. Of course I am. Where are they? Where are these bloody Thalmer? Let's hop off our big ship. Oh, wait. There's a bird down there. There's the Thalmer. Oh, my God. There's a Khajiit getting wrecked by them. Oh, the stun. We got the stun off. Easy, mate. Don't worry, bro. I got your back. Oh, God. I think I just shot him in the back. Whoops. Oh, get taken out. Easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell was that? Look at this guy. He's, like, smaller than me. The guy's a bloody beast. It just, it seems your supply post was about to be raided. It's lucky we arrived in time. Yes, but many supply posts have already fallen to Justicar Lenial. I'm sure that bastard had already left this area when you defeated his patrol. What is this place? This is the deep desert, my friend. This is my caravan supply post. A supply post? Yes. Caravan yes. has come here to stock up on water from the oasis. Hmm. What oasis? This place looks barren. Oh, the oasis. It's hidden. It's through the passage in the back. Oh, goddamn. Let's go and find that hidden oasis. Where's the passage in the back, eh? I don't see any passages. Apart from my beautiful airship. That only just fits in this location by the looks of it. 
Where is this oasis? I don't believe... Oh, is this it? No, that's a, a water hole. Oh. An alchemy lab. You're just cooking there. Nice one. Ah, that must be the oasis in there, then. There's also a smelter area here. Wait, is that a health potion? No, it's wine. And it's empty! Outrageous. Botanist outpost or oasis. Let's go and have a look. Ah, here we are. This place is rather beautiful, actually. Little oasis in the middle of the desert with a nice waterfall there. Shrine of Diabella. My favourite kind of shrine to have next to my bed. Oh, a uh, potion of healing. I'll take that. And, oh my god, what is this? This is sick. Siligonda Chitin Armour. You didn't see anything, Mr. Moon Cow thing. Let's have a look at this. 41 armor. Carrying capacity increased by 15 points. I want to wear that just because it looks sick. With this crew. It's got this cool, like... It looks like a butt crack. But it's actually Khajiit writing. What is this place? An oasis. But when I planted myself... I'm Shilara. And I'm here on a mayor's request, trying to bring life to the desert. Why would Emir ask for this? My project is to expand this oasis. This desert is said to contain a thousand buried cities, and many a hidden water source as well. Very valuable. Indeed, especially in a desert, but how do you find the water? Well, interesting you ask. I checked the silicon. The nest and the underground water sources. I use a concoction of silicon eggs to mask myself. Seems to work quite well. My supply is always running out, though. If you were to collect some, I'd be very grateful. I'm sure you would, but I can't be bothered. Oh, three is fine. But if you were to bring me five pieces of silicon or shit in, I'd be able to harden them. Oh, we well, can make me an armor set. Well, well now we're it. talking. And there's a chest there as well. I guess the armor set's in there. We need to go and find the adjuster car and put a stop to him raiding all of these outposts. This is rather vexing. What was this giant skeleton here? It looks huge, doesn't it? There's another thing over there in the, uh, in the cave. I'm going to head back up to the ship now, I think. Set off once again. No one's out. What's through this giant? Oh god, there's some there's some hyenas. Yeet! Oh god! They detected me. I've been detected. Where's Lydia when you need her? Jesus. Aha! You can't come downstairs, hyena. Oh, you can. You can come downstairs. Jesus. Wrecked up. Stop barking in my face, you're very rude. Let's see another one. Here it comes. Get wrecked. Oh boy. Jesus. Stop trying to dodge me. Do you know what, mate? I'm going to phosphor die you off that cliff. If you come back. Oh my goodness me. Get wrecked. How did that not work? Your light armor has increased. Yeah, thanks. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Okay, so we need to go over here somewhere. This place is so sandy and dry and barren. Looks like there's a camp up ahead, though. Hopefully, not for. Oh, it's full of Thalma. Great. What's this? Get wrecked, son. How do I go for his head? What the hell? Hey, get paralyzed. Right into the rectum! Oh, god damn. That penetration was so deep. I love it. So, this is the chest. And it's got his logbook. Campaign logbook of Justicar Lionel. Location elsewhere, Protectorate. 
I've sent a patrol to Laymar Forest, the suspect source of the heretical moon sugar substance. I am awaiting their report. The portal. The patrol to Tenmar Forest failed to return, and so I suspect the forests are impossible to enter safely. Guerrilla tactics would pose a danger to even the most prepared force. I mean, they brought guerrillas and got beaten by guerrilla tactics. What can they do? The loss of the ship is butting a strain on my resources, so I've decided to contain the moon sugar by raiding caravan supply sites. I believe they will be easy targets and crippling if destroyed. We found and sacked our first supply post. The burnt remains will serve as a stern warning to future smugglers. My scouts report that the 10 mile patrol ship is inbound. They spotted it further down the canyon. The airship has touched down near the supply post I've ordered. A patrol to go out, meet the scouts and take care of the supply post as well. The patrol was defeated. My scouts report the airship carried a Khajiit war party. Cowards! My forces are low. The shame will hang above my family for generations. I will have the head of those Khajiit even if it means the end of me. I will reclaim my honour. Very well. Actually, I've got to take this journal for the quest update. So let's grab that and then we've got to head back to our our little boat. Guys, if you uh, haven't already, make sure you subscribe and press that bell icon and then YouTube will actually let you know when every new episode comes out. If you want to keep following, that's the, the best way, the best thing you can do. Yeet! Onto the ship. Right, let's go into the hold and navigate to the next location to find this captain and put him out of his misery, really. I found the Just Kills logbook. He seems to have fled. What now? Bandar! <laughs> what now? We head back to the Tenmar forest and try to figure out what to do about this, yes? Not enough water around here, just warm sand. They always say they love warm sand. Anyway, Kulan navigates the ship through the skies above elsewhere. Suddenly, another ship appears from the clouds. With a great crash, the two ships collide in the air. The waning moon is being boarded. <laughs> Defeat the Justicar. Okay, we're being boarded by the Justicar then, I guess. Let's quickly save the game before we get wrecked. I'm gonna come out in sneak mode like that? a boss. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I'm being attacked! Get wrecked, mate! It's right in the. Oh my god, it went through his face! Jesus! Oh my goodness me! Boom! Haha, <laughs> you die. Oh my god, look at all these. Women. Thalma spies! He's Kill them all! Don't worry, I've got you. Oh no, I just paralyzed the captain. No, it went through him. Oh, we got lucky now. Kill the soldiers. Please stop firing lightning bolts at whoever you are. I can't even see him, it's just the fire is so bloody bright. Oh god, hello there. Jesus Christ, I need a potion. I need a potion. Potion of... Oh, do you know what? Actually, I can level up and then I'll completely heal myself. Watch this, my friends. This is expert level thinking, okay? See, now I'm full health again. Easy. Can we have a quick look, actually? Because I want to see if my one-handed skill can be increased. I've been practicing my one-handed skill because I'm a very lonely man, especially when Lydia is not nearby. But now we have leveled it up so we do 10% more damage. I can't see him, where is he? There he is. Why is this fire so bright? Mate, my best. As soon as it's off cooldown, down, watch this. Did he even fall off? No, he's still there, he's still there. Look at him. He's just on fire and still alive. The Thalma wizard. Terrible person. Indeed. Wait, what are you doing? Boy, watch out! Bro! He doesn't even care. He's just a skullcat is intimidating the crap out of him. Get ready. Right in the middle! Skullcat was impressed with the performance there. Let's quickly take these uh, steel arrows because we really need these. What's this? Mythic Dawn Commentaries, Volume 1. Very nice. Another health potion. I really need that. 
Okay, let's uh, head down into the Thalma airship and see what we can find here. Hopefully, huh? some Thalma to kill. Oh, God! It's the Justica Lionel. Watch out, Skullcat. Look out, Skullcat. Yeah, that's it. Beat him up. Beat him up. Don't worry, mate. I'll help you out. Oh, I did not mean to become a theory. That was not very helpful, Skullcat. I'm sorry. Mate, Skullcat, you got... Oh, my God, Skullcat, you savage. Holy crap. He doesn't even care. <laughs> that would be my reaction if I put a curved sword for a Thalma. Oh, my God. Look, Daedric Greatsword of Subsumming. Absorb 30 points of stamina. Skullcat didn't even care. He's got the stamina of a mountain lion, goddamn. A Daedric Dagger. Don't mind if I do I will take all of your treasures. Very nice indeed. He's got a loot as well. He's clearly a bard. What a waste. Flights from the Thalma. Ornate drinking horn? Wowee. I'll take that, mate. Cheers. Cheers, biggies. Oh my god, the northern lights. It's picturesque. It's beautiful. What do you think about this, Skullcat? Isn't that... Yeah. <laughs> He's so retarded. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Alright, let's head down. Have a chat with our boy. Where is he? Where's my navigator? There he is. What, what are you doing here? Just Carolina is dead. Good. He must have stalked the waning moon here and launched a desperate attack to avenge his Thalmor pride. An attack that failed, Kulan must add. Ha! Huh. Let's put out the fire and head back to Tenmar with the good news. Ah, uh, yes. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. A smooth, uneventful journey back to elsewhere, and here we are, staring into Kulan's eyes. What a beautiful Kushit. Skullcat, why are you always popping off in the middle of nowhere? So weird. Such a weird creature. Oh wait, you want me to go back inside now? Skullcat, stop following me! <laughs> Speak to Kulan. Is there anything I can do to help? Perhaps there is something this old Khajiit could use your help with, hmm? Jarani, senior mage at the New Ellswire movement, has been captured by Argonian pirates. And you want me to help free him? Exactly. The winds of Kanarthi will carry the waning moon to the Topol Sea. Gran has finally been able to locate the pirate's stronghold. Once there, you will free Joran from his chains. Sounds awesome. Let's do that. Let's go and kill some pirates. Awesome. So before we save our comrade from the pirates, I'm going to end this episode here. Guys, please give it a like if you enjoyed this episode of Moon Path to Elsewhere. And if you want to see the next episode, just subscribe, press that bell icon, then YouTube will let you know as soon as it's out. It's so good to be uploading videos again, guys. Sorry again for the delay. I'm going to be getting lots more Skyrim videos out, hopefully this week and next, and also hopefully live streaming as well. So if you want to catch the live streams, make sure you stay subscribed for that too. But guys, thank you so much for watching me ESO, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.